going on everybody good morning good morning thanks for coming fishing with me uh, we're over here on a little pond that is an offshoot of the Buddy Hatchet River and um, I'm gonna throw out uh, out here and see what's going on we got um we got bluegill cut bait and it's like a week old frozen uh, and I got some red worms. I'm gonna see if there are any bluegill in here. I hope they are. If there if there is, I'm gonna get a small one, and I'm gonna throw it out. I've already saw some fish from right off the bat when I first got here, and um, there may be some pretty good size somethings in here. Uh, I don't really know what exactly is in here, but I'm betting it's gonna be multi-species. It's it doesn't look that deep from me looking at it, but uh. I think it's a deeper, deeper spot on the far side of the bridge, but let's go on and cast out and, uh, and see what's going on. Oh my God, my, uh, my cut bait is really smelly. So uh, if, when it hits the water, something's going to smell it. They might say, ugh, but um, I'm going to throw it out here. And if, if there are any any catfish or um, in here, they're definitely gonna smell that. So you know, we're gonna toss it out here and see what's up. I don't know exactly how deep this is, uh, but my cork's standing up, so I may not have it deep enough, I don't know. But they should be able to locate that, that bait. We got an overcast a little bit today. I got here at 6.30 in the morning, so hopefully my camera won't overheat. We'll get us some really good footage. Okay, everybody, the um, the dead uh, week old bait wasn't doing any good. I'm going back to try to catch a live blue gear and I just took it out of the water. So, uh, here we go. Um, people had the misconception that any kind of bait is great, it's not. Fish prefer fresh food just like we do. Catfish, catfish, yeah, they hit stuff with a scent on it that stinks and all that, but they would prefer something fresh, or, uh, or just died or alive. Prefer to be alive, believe it or not. I got something hitting that ripworm already. I don't know if you can see it. I hope you can. First bluegill. Got a good little bait fish here. Okay, everybody, second bluegill, back to back. Good little bait fish. Let's get them on these hooks. Okay, everybody, I should have kept my camera rolling. I thought I was catching a, thought I was catching a bluegill. 
and I caught a bofi. It bit a worm. This is a bofin. We call them grinnels. It's a little bitty one. Um, but some people that's not from here, they confuse them with that Chinese snakehead. It's not a Chinese snakehead. This is a, a indigenous fish from America. They normally hit uh, fish, but this one actually hit that hit the red worm. So I'm gonna put him back in the water. Maybe we can get a bigger something else. Um, I've caught uh, both in a lot bigger than that. I've caught them eight pounds. Uh, like I said, from I, I make sure I keep my camera rolling next time. I thought it was a bluegill. I wasn't all that excited about catching some bait on camera today. But evidently, uh, whatever they're optimistic in here, and whatever they can grab, they'll grab. So uh, it, it wasn't on the fish. It was on the, the bluegill bait. So next bite I get on my bluegill rods, my bluegill rods, I'll, uh, I'll catch it on a video. Hmm. Okay, everybody, I changed sides. I wasn't getting anything else over there, so I'm coming on the... Uh, right hand side of everything. It's more like a pond over here. I saw some big fish jumping so I'm using the same bait. Light bluegill cut bait. I really should have brought my net. Looks like it's pretty deep over here. Uh, I know it's deeper than two feet, so. There's got to be something hanging around in, in the cooler part of this little pond thing. Uh, the unfortunate thing is I did see like three turtles. They're so like, yeah, big. Uh, turtles eat fish, real anything. Let's see what we can do. Got one small bofin. Got him. Small bofin. Uh, these little jokers are something serious. They're a lot of fun. Like I said, I've caught them up to eight pounds. Let's see if we can get another one. Let's put him back and get a big one.
Back to the drawing board. If you guys can see that cork sitting out there in the middle, by itself, that's where I got hung. I let a both of them run with it or, or a flathead, whatever it was, and ran with it. It went up on the log and it got hung, so that's not going to be moving. Um, but we're back in here and back in action again. We just call a small both end that makes two, uh, two small ones. Let's see if we can get something big. Okay, uh, one of my problems that I wasn't thinking about while I wasn't hooking these fish solid is I was, I'm using a really big hook. It's going to take a big hook for it to penetrate their mouth because they got a hard mouth. If it's a flat head or if it's a both end one. But I had to get a smaller piece of bait and that's what the deal was. That's why I started using a smaller piece of bluegill for bait on that big hook and so now it's working. You start when they're biting it and they're hitting it uh, especially in slow moving water sometimes their, their mouth just ain't big enough you know or they don't get as much oxygen as a river fish so they don't bite as hard so try a smaller piece of bait if something's hitting the bait and it's big shrink it down a little downsize it a little Talking about right there. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> He's got that hook in his mouth on his head really hard. Uh, yeah, these circle hooks work. Mm. After holding them like this, now that's a bowfin right there. It's about a three. No, it's about, yeah, about a three. Nice bowfin. What I'm talking about. Get my pliers just in collect case. Come here. I want to get stuck on that hook. People like to call them trash fish. I like gars. This is the bow fin, a grunt. See, they got the little, they got that red dot on its tail. It's hard for me to hold this jump. If you can see that red dot on its tail. It lets you know it's a bowfin. This is not a snakehead, okay? It's a bowfin. Uh, we call them grunnels, but they're fun to catch. People call them trash fish. I don't call them trash fish. No, I don't eat them. Let's get him back in the water. Fun to catch. Right. Now, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, so we knew there are some big stuff in here. Um, that, that you know, little 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 pools and ponds like this that come off of rivers and creeks uh, that are offshoots and stuff. They have big fish in them, you know. When I say big, I mean it's not a 30 pounder, but that was a nice size fish. But they do have 20s and, and 15s and stuff in there too. Uh, so you, you never know until you step on the bank and let that hook sink.
Let's just grab that one. Okay. Like I said, you never know till you step on that bank and let the hook sink. We got a bull head. This is my regular species here, catfish. Circle hooks are really good. They're really good. Now for a bull's bull head. At least in my area, it's a pretty good fish. Boy, heads don't get real big here at all. Gotta watch those fins. So Trying not to hurt him. Okay. It is pretty bullhead. Look at her. See, you never know what's in, in these little places. I didn't expect for it to be a bullhead. I really thought it was going to be a, another bowfin. Hold on one second. We got the hook out of his mouth. I'm going to show him one more time to everybody. See, so you never know what you'll catch. Let's get him back in the water. Let's get out here and see if we can get one more. There's a set of logs out here it's going off into the into the woods out here. Uh, just hit.
got it. Pretty good, whatever it is. Ah, bow fin. Got another bow fin. These circle hooks are awesome. I'm holding these both in like this is because they have sharp teeth and I got and I got the hook in their mouth in in these fish fish mouth but the both has got sharp teeth and yeah they can bite you that's why the tear fishing lures up try not to hurt him Just the best hooks, these circle hooks. Kamagatsu circle hooks. Sorry about that. This little jerk is full of life. Okay. Here he is. See, it's the other bow fit. Not a Chinese snakehead. That people say they're trash fish. If God didn't want them in there, he wouldn't put them in there. That's just how I feel. No, I don't eat them. I don't want to eat them. But like I said, they're fun to catch. It's just a nice fish. Let's get him back in the water. This is just a little spot off the road that I, I've looked at for a while and messed with, and so now I'm in here, I'm gonna try to catch something and you know it's working. It looks like it's gonna be mostly a both end. I think they're coming out of there. Sorry, my footings are not perfect, I'm not a ninja. Um they're coming out of out of the the uh, river over there uh, in the woods off in here because this water is moving and it's a little teeny tiny stream maybe that wide and it's running through so it's probably going out in the woods over there uh it's a pretty good trip i'm really enjoying it and as you see it takes time to catch fish they don't just bite not right off the bat not unless you throw it in their mouth nope Care about it. The camera went off. I caught this this big yellow bullhead right here. Remember, I was telling y'all you never know what's in here, in these little places. Big yellow bullhead. I hope the camera's still on. I'm getting ready to put him back in the water. I wasn't expecting one this big. Okay, guys. Okay, guys. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> What's going on? All right. I had a great time. Hope you guys had a good time fishing with me. Uh, this little spot right here. Like I said, it's actually on the road. Just something to mess with. You know, it can give you an idea of uh, what you can do when you are, you know, out on the road fishing. Uh, we we caught uh, a couple of different species. And uh, it, it was really fun. And, and just remember, guys, a lot of cars, huh? When you uh, go fishing, have fun and uh, take it light. All right. I'll see you guys later. Keep on going fishing. Hang in there.